So now we're learning about the associative property of addition. The associative property of addition states that when you have uh, multiple add-ins that you're adding up, it doesn't matter how you group them as long as you're using addition the whole time. So for example, I have A plus B plus C, but I'm grouping A and B together first and then adding C. Here I have A plus B plus C, but I'm grouping B and C together, which I then add to A. Let's see if it works. I'll use 6 for A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'll use 4 for B. And I'll use 5 for C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now I'm keeping these in parentheses together. And if I add the 6 and the 4 together, I will get 10 because 6 plus 4 is 10 and then I'm going to add the extra 5 which gives us 15. Let's see if the same thing happens on the other side. A will still make 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. B will still make 4 1, 2, 3, 4 and C will still make 5 1, 2, 3, 4 Okay, but this time we're going to group the 4 and 5 together in parentheses. 4 plus 5 is 9, and 9 plus 6 is still 15. So the property works, regardless of whether I'm grouping the 6 and 4 together and adding 5, or grouping the 4 and 5 together and adding 6. We come up with the same answer. This can be very powerful because when you have certain add-ins grouped together, um, you may know your facts a little faster. For example, a lot of students know 6 plus 4 pretty quickly. It's a 10 fact. Once you get that 10, then it's easy to add on. As opposed to this, 4 plus 5 makes 9, and it may be a little harder to add up to 9. So again, associative property can be very powerful. Uh, be careful, though, because sometimes some uh, people confuse this with subtraction, and then they may try to subtract. And let's watch what happens if you do try to subtract using this property. 6 minus 4, and I'll group those together, plus 5. And if you were to say that that's the same thing as 6 minus 4 plus 5, grouping the 4 and 5 together there, we'll see if that's really true. 6 minus 4 is 2, and 2 plus 5 is 7. That's what I get on this side of the equation. I did the 6 plus minus 4 first, and then I added the extra 5. This time, I've got to do the 4 and 5 first, and 4 plus 5 is 9. Uh-oh. 6 minus 9. I'm starting with one number, and I'm subtracting a bigger number from it. That's going to give me a negative 3 for my answer. And as you can see, when you try to apply the associative property to subtraction, it doesn't work. That's why they call it the associative property of addition.